What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about my top 3 cheapest 2 in 1 laptops for under $300. Uh, so I thought this was a great list uh, for college students too, so you don't have to get laptop and a tablet, you just got everything in one. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so coming up first is the Dell Inspiron 11.6 inch. So this is the cheapest laptop on this list clocking in at 225. Uh, so this is a 2-in-1, it's a touch screen. Uh, so running down these specifications, we can get into an idea of what this guy can do. So it has the Intel Celeron a dual core processor that clocks up to 2.48 gigahertz, also two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. So pretty much what these specifications mean is that you'll be able to do the bare minimum with this guy. Uh, so the screen is not the highest resolution, it's a little bit above 720p, uh, which is still good so you'll be able to watch movies and videos and stuff just fine but the specifications on here you won't be be able to do anything too hardcore you'll be able to write your papers just fine with this guy or type just fine whatever you're doing uh, so web browsing on here should be a breeze it should be able to handle it the only reason I say that is because the RAM is so low so don't expect to be doing any uh, gaming stuff like that you should be able to play games like San Andreas maybe emulators or asphalt and stuff like that but don't expect anything too crazy but for 225 if you're looking for the bare minimum you're just trying to papers videos uh, YouTube whatever it is then you can do the bare minimum with this guy Next up is the HP Pavilion X2. So this is an awesome laptop coming in at 230. So running down the specifications of this guy, it has a 10.1 inch display, an Intel quad core Atom processor, two gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of storage. So what makes this one different from the Dell is that it does have a quad core processor. So that's uh, two more cores more than the dual core one. Uh, so it is a bit faster so you'll be able to get uh, stuff done in a little bit more faster it's only a five dollar difference but what I really love about this laptop I think that makes it stand out is that it has great hardware with this guy so as you can see the hardware is much more premium looking I think HP did a much better job with this uh, laptop so uh, the keyboard it's more sturdy it's better to type on so I, that's why I really like this one and the front facing speakers are really good for uh, entertainment purposes watching movies uh, YouTube videos whatever it's gonna make uh, those videos uh, more immersive and one of the ways this laptop falls short compared to the Dell is in the display department so this laptop does have a little bit lower resolution so if you're looking for something to really uh, watch pictures and movies uh, and stuff on then you're probably going to want to go uh, with the Dell now this by no means has a bad display just not as good as the Dell's alright so last thing list is the HP X360 so uh, this is a great laptop because it combines the best features of the first two tablets and you have a bit more beefier specifications so what I like about this tablet is the rock solid hardware I think it's the slickest uh, really nice looking hardware very very minimum looking and I just really like the hardware with this guy uh, so you get the Intel dual core processor but what really stands out with this laptop is the four gigabytes of RAM so with that you'll be able to do picture editing video editing stuff like that uh, you can, I can even see you be able to do FL Studio, music making, stuff like that. This is more ideal for a little bit of a creator, I guess. So if you're looking to create and stuff like that, I would look at this one as the cheapest one uh, without going over $300. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.